yes, people, welcome to the Blum Panda where I speak my mind and you can say yours. It's another wonderful Friday afternoon. I just want to bring to your attention in case you haven't had the news yet. It's a breaking news from IFAB and from us in Venga. It's going to be a very short video, two, three, four minutes. But in case you haven't had it, well, you're in the right place. So welcome to my board and make sure you subscribe while you're at it. Well, we've all seen all the useless and gruesome and annoying handballs that have been going round in Premier League for a while now. And it's becoming really detestful and annoying to actually hear some of these things given. Because we don't understand why these rules were made up in the first place. And I have my doubts about the state of mind of the person making these rules. But, I don't know if you guys were aware. There was a game between Fulham and Tottenham just recently. I think it was yesterday or two days ago whereby a handball was awarded against Fulham and they scored a goal immediately after the handball. That handball was accidental, but according to the rules, any accidental handball leading to a goal is going to be ruled as a handball and is an offence. But now, what IFAB is saying, and I think this is because of a lot of complaints going around in social media, a lot of people complaining about it, I mean, here's the image of the of the handball. Check that out, people. Just check that out. This guy's hand was right next to his lap. It was not interfering with anything. The ball hit him there. And Fulham scored a goal after this. And they were awarded... A fr I mean, sorry. Tottenham was awarded a free kick. Come on, guys. Come on. Any team is going to be complaining about that. Let's check this out today. Come on. This is really heartless. I don't understand the state of mind of the person that was actually making these rules but i'm thinking maybe the person was drunk yes he was probably drunk people i don't understand maybe he had too many shots of tequila and then when he drank too much he couldn't make a proper rule because i don't understand that rule i just don't it was an accident your hands are right where they're supposed to be and then you you came up with this stupid rule saying even if it's accidental then you have to rule it as, as handball i don't get it I don't get it. I mean, uh, do you understand what I'm saying, people? It's really, really annoying. If you were the one in full hand shoes, you're going to be pissed off. You're going to be pissed off. So what I've come out to say right now is any accidental handball that leads to a teammate scoring a goal or having a goal scoring opportunity will no longer be considered an offense. Look, listen, people, I don't know about you, but I'm done with that. I am. I fucked with that shit. Yes, I do. Because... Like I said, I don't understand the state of the mind of the person that was making these rules. But it just makes absolutely no sense to me. Absolutely no sense to me. And the professor, Asin Venga, is at it again. We all know that he has this, um, what, what, what's, what's the name of his um, role now? Um, Chief of Global Development or something? I think he's actually doing his work right. He is doing his job right, in my opinion. I know many of you might not agree with this, but he's putting a proposal saying that anytime a player is offside, they need to look into the fact that the person's body that he uses to score a goal is in line with the last defender. What do I mean? As in Venga has made a proposal stating that as long as a player that is deemed offside has part of his body in line with with the last defender if you look at this illustration on the screen right now you can see where Harry Kane's leg is Harry Kane uses his leg or head or whatever to score goals so the proposal is if part of his body that used to score a goal right is in line with the last defender then he should not be awarded offside because that part of his body that uses to score a goal is in line with the defender what do you guys think about this I've seen a lot of people saying they don't like it I think I'm okay with that. Honestly, I think I'm okay with that. I am. I am. Because the reason I say I'm okay with this is because presently, the offside rule states that if any part of your body that you can use to score a goal is offside, then you should be deemed offside. So why can't we reverse it the other way? Because I'm not even going to lie. This thing is killing football. It is. This is one of the reasons why I in Wenger is there and I think he's doing his job right. La Professor, I love him. I love him. And I miss him as an Arsenal fan. I do. I don't know what your take is on these people, but listen, 
these two things that they've actually talked about today made me very happy because I was fuming on behalf of Fulham. I'm not even a Fulham fan, I'm an Arsenal fan, obviously, but at the same time, we need to look at these things carefully. We need to try and look at it that if this happens to us, how are we going to feel? What do you guys feel about these two breaking news from IFAB? Let me know your thoughts, people. La Professor, I love him. I love him. Anyway, people. I'm going to be out of here in the GP. It's your boy here, the Blum Funded. Love us, we be lovers. Hate us, we be haters. I'll see you guys pretty soon. You take care, people. And bye. Cheers.